Hey there, Dragons. I'm Skyline. And I'm Carrie Ann. And this is Dragon TV Junior. Dragon TV Junior. Congratulations, Cross You Mate, for being chosen for the Student of the Month for March. Congratulations, Cross. Our Lady Dragons started off their first track meet with a win. The junior high girls traveled to DCAP for a cold and witty track meet. The seventh grade girls have made progress, placing fifth and scoring 53 points. The eighth grade girls placed second, scoring 110 points to James Bowie. The junior high boys had another outstanding meet, with our eighth grade winning the championships at Queen City and our seventh grade finishing second in their division. Congratulations to everyone that participated. Hey guys, so these are my predictions on who's gonna win, okay? So, I think me personally, I'm not, I'm not gonna do good, okay? And I think Lariah is gonna win. That's what <laughs> Twenty-four hundred. They just got up running the twenty-four hundred, and McKinley did so good. And I'm finna run. I'm not finna run. I'm. I, I'm yeah. They, she did so good. Who's there? Edge. Edge who? Bless you. Let's see what type of jokes our dragons can crack for us. Knock knock. Who's there? Radio. Radio who? Radio knock. Here I come. Knock knock. Who's there? A cow says. A cow says who? No, a cow says moo. Knock knock. Who's there? I don't know. I don't know who. I don't know you. Knock knock. Who's there? There. Boo boo. Stop crying. This is so terrible. <laughs> Builders Club has been working really hard to help our community. They sure have. We have a few students that are in charge of collecting the recyclables. Um, I think it helps because it's always good to do like something good for your community and to be a good citizen. So I feel like just doing something as simple as recycling can really help out the community greatly. Instead of throwing our trash or plastic balls that we're picking up every Wednesday just on the ground or on the side of the street, we can actually recycle them and send them to places where they can be compacted and made into the new plastic, like plastic water bottles or any other plastic equipment that the world can't change them to. Um, I joined the, this, the Builder Club to, uh, I mean, same thing, make the world a better place, like what I can do and what the program can do. Um, we started the recycling pro program in order to help our environment. It helps by reducing the amount of normal trash that gets placed into our landfills by us reducing that plastic, which doesn't actually biodegrade. It would have just occupied more space in our landfills, so this way we're putting it back, um, sending it to a recycling facility so that they can transform that into some new form of plastic. Thank you for all you do, guys. Why not play got first with their play, The Small World of Millie McIver. All of your hard work has paid off. It's always a lot of work, but we have a lot of fun. Um, we travel together a lot, and so we get to know each other really well. And we all are very much um, 
theater people and we love it and so it's really fun to create that world of the play for our audience. Stressful. We didn't really have much time, it, what it felt like at least, and there was a lot of preparation, a lot of preparation, a lot of work and you know we had lots of changes there and now and it was very stressful. I was excited because this is my first one act play of junior high and so it made it very good for me that I know I have this, what my strengths were and what my weaknesses were. That was a great play. Carrie Ann, what do you call a factory that makes okay products? Uh, I don't know. A satisfactory. Was that supposed to be some sort of dad joke? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what some of your best dad jokes are. Hey, Jay. What, man? Where do you learn to make ice cream? Where? Sunday school. You know what's uh, a dad favorite candy? What? A sugar daddy. <laughs> what should say to the beach? What? Nothing. It waved. Bro. Hey, Jay. You want to take a joke about pizza? What, man? Wait, never mind. It's too cheesy. What's Forrest Gump's password? One, Forrest, one. What does a police officer say to his belly button? You're under a vest. There's two pieces of sausage lying in a frying pan. One piece looks at the other and says, man, this frying pan's hot. And the other one goes, oh my gosh, talking sausage. That was something. Anyways, we're approaching our last nine weeks. Eighth graders, remember, next year, you're going to be the underdog, so be prepared. Seventh grade, you're coming up to eighth grade. You might want to prepare yourself. Always remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a dragon. dragon. Perfect. Yay. <sighs>and school and all that? Uh, honestly, probably nobody. I just like my life. It's pretty free, honestly. Donald Trump. Because he's our president, and, well, it was our president, and he's just cool. Well, it'd probably be Michael Jordan in his prime, so that I could dunk really well. And why? Uh, I want to say John Wilkes Booth, and then like not to after before he assassinated uh, Abraham Lincoln, because I feel like that could have stopped a lot now.